so a vector when multiply with another vector then what will happen now physically you will see several examples of that for example you might have learned about the work done work done is what force multiplied with displacement force is a vector displacement is also a vector but work done is a scalar right similarly torque is the perpendicular length of force from the axis multiplied by the force right now torque is a vector so in one case you are multiplying vector with a vector you get a scalar in other case you are multiplying vector with another vector you get a new vector fine so definitely there has to be different ways you multiply vector with a vector then also you give, then only you are getting two different results right so there are two kinds of multiplication of vector with another vector the outcome of first is a scalar and outcome of second is vector so based on the outcome itself i will call these as scalar multiplication and vector multiplication fine so suppose two vectors are there a and b and you want to multiply it using scalar multiplication then how will you write it when you have to multiply two numbers suppose you write it like this 3 with a cross in between right now you have two different ways of multiplication you can't have only one way of writing multiplication right so that is why a different way of writing for both is there when you have scalar multiplication you get like this a dot with b this is how you write it all right for a for a vector outcome you write it a cross b fine so a dot b is scalar multiplication and a cross b is vector multiplication and based on how you write it also there is second name to it this is also called dot product because there is a dot in between and this is also called as cross product fine now i need to define direction of sorry i need to define the magnitude of the dot product do i need to define the direction of dot product no because the outcome is a scalar and scalar has no direction but in this case i need to define not only the magnitude but also the direction because outcome is a vector and vector the uh, the explanation of vector is incomplete if i do not talk about direction right so let's first talk about magnitude so a dot b magnitude should depend on magnitude of a and magnitude of b right and it should also depend on what is the angle between them fine so you have to pick some function of theta all right now everybody has agreed to put it like this cos theta form now there, there is no definite logic to it why it is cos theta it just the way everyone has accepted that i will say that a dot b is a b into cos theta because if you write it like this the whole model of physics or mathematics is very simple all right everybody everything will fall in place in a very nice way but if you define it something else then little bit complication will happen when you take it in further uh, this thing explanation get delete kar dena fine so a dot b is ab cos theta that is the magnitude of a dot b there is no direction so i will not talk about direction of a dot b the magnitude of a cross b is defined as a b sin theta all right so one is ab cos theta and other is ab sin theta the minimum value of dot product happens when theta is 90 degrees right and then the maximum value of 
cross product will happen. Similarly, minimum value of cross product happens when theta is zero, and then the dot product is maximum. Fine. So if if it is given that vector A is perpendicular to vector B, since the angle is 90 degree, the dot product will be zero. All right. Now I have to talk about direction of A cross B. Fine. So A cross B direction should be independent of or should not be biased for A or B. I have to take it like an independent, uh, this also will get deleted. Direction of A cross B is a unique direction which is perpendicular to both A and B. Direction of A cross B is perpendicular to both A and B. So for example, if A is this, and B is that. So direction of A cross B will be perpendicular to both A and B. Now both A and B are in the plane of the board, right? So A cross B should be perpendicular to both, perpendicular to the board, right? And perpendicular to the board, there are two directions. One is coming out of the board and one is going into the board. So still we have not uniquely defined the direction. So there has to be some rule so that I can define uniquely what is the direction of A cross B. So one such rule is right hand curl rule. So you have to align your hand, right hand, along the direction of first vector which is A like this and move towards, curl your finger towards B. The direction of thumb is A cross B. Right? So A cross B is into the board. And B cross A, if you have to find out, align your palm along B and then curl towards A. So it will come out of the board. Right? So if you, if you look carefully, A cross B and B cross A is in opposite directions. And magnitude of whether you take A cross B or B cross A will be this only. Right? So A cross B and B cross A are in opposite direction having equal magnitude fine right? so i can write down a cross b is equal to minus of b cross a direction of a cross b is perpendicular to both a and b and you have to use right hand curl rule to uniquely define the direction of A cross B because perpendicular to both A and B there are still two directions right so this is how you uh, use multiplication operations with vectors all right